Look up in that sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. Now, it's Fuzzy Soul Tiger, Mr. PJ, with a superhero video. You got the Incredible Hulk. It's been made twice. You know, one with Eric Banana lead and Edward Norton doing a remake. You got Iron Man. It's doing huge business. Robert Downey Jr. Although, why did they switch Terrence Howard for uh, Don Cheadle? I don't know why. You got The Thing from the Fantastic Four. <laughs> that was really tight. Uh, man, the guy from The Shield is the perfect guy to play him. You got Captain America that's coming out. I don't know, Captain America. How about uh, Flash? Flash, yes. Flash is supposed to be super fast. How about Usain Bolt? The guy, um, he's, he descends from Jamaica, who won the Olympics. Uh, for sprint running and it just broke all these records. Make him flash. You don't have to use special effects for this guy. He'd be perfect. You say the Hollywood a lot of money, <laughs> right? Choose somebody naturally fast. <laughs> Why not do a Wonder Woman movie? What's taking so long for it to happen? I could see Beyonce really do that. She showed she got butt kicking power and obsessed. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You see what I mean? She could do that. Although uh, Megan Fox could also do Wonder Woman, it would be a real good turnaround for her, real good career revival, you know, after Transformers and being dropped in part three. If she did Wonder Woman just right, it would turn her career around. She'd be hot again. They're making the movie Thor? Whoever they've chosen to play the role, I mean, okay, fine. We're gonna have to give the new guy a chance, but to me, you should have chosen WWE wrestling superstar Triple H. Triple H has got strength. He's got the Viking look to him, the demeanor. If you don't know who he is, check out the third part of Blade. He plays a bad guy on there, a, a bad vampire villain. Guy is tough, man. He's got the world weary look, like a person who really been through battle. That's what Thor should embody. I'm, I'm gonna share my thoughts. This is not biblical, so uh, don't look at this as like, solid choices you know I want to hear what your choices are too of course we know about the legendary Superman the Superman roles were great you know I love the black and white version uh, the original actor that played Superman back then he was really good Christopher Reeves obviously I he made the role iconic you know you, you can't almost not replace him it's irreplaceable Brandon Roth did a very good job bringing back the innocence of Superman, but still, um, I don't know. Well, look at me. I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero. Hollywood remakes a lot of movies. We all know that's common standard practice. I'm cool with some of it. Cool. But please, don't remake Back to the Future. Please, it was perfect. Well, maybe part three. You can remake that one, but don't touch one and two. That was perfect. You know, there's some roles that some people were born to play, like uh, Hugh Jackman tears it up with Wolverine every time. Very committed. Batman, 1989. Tim Burton chooses Michael Keaton. At that time, a very controversial choice. Nobody expected this funny man who did Night Shift to be a perfect choice for playing Batman. I mean, this is a dark role. And he surprised everybody, knocked that role right out the park. But George Clooney, he's a good, he's a very, very good actor. Wasn't good for Batman. I think he just did that for tongue-in-cheek purposes. You know? Okay, look, all in all, if you're gonna do a superhero movie, cast the right people. Because when you put the wrong people in the wrong role, it's like an empty building. It's not worth seeing. So, this is what this video is about. What roles do you see people playing in superhero comic books? I'd love to hear it. You see the light at the end of the tunnel? Do you see the light? Oh. 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 Oh, man. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Somehow I thought this stunt was going to go better than that. Oh. Advil. Oh.